Welcome to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy along with Morgan Nodsley on TV3. And we're going to talk to Morgan. If you can see right now, she is uh, in the sign language and she is a major uh, uh, education of the deaf and hard of hearing major. And uh, she is here to not only tell us a little bit about what she's up to, she's a, a 2012 graduate of Detroit Lakes High School. And now she is in her senior year of uh, college and she is majoring in education of the deaf and hard of hearing and she's going to take a trip that we will learn a little bit about later on uh, on the show but Morgan welcome to Hometown Happenings. Thank you Carol. Uh, first of all okay so I kind of I kind of introduced you but tell us what you've been up to since 2012 when you graduated from Detroit Lakes High School. Well after graduation um, then in the fall I um, went to Augustana College in Sioux Falls South Dakota and um, I'm a deaf ed elementary ed double major and I also have a math minor <laughs> and um, so I've just been going to school um, and I'm I'm in the band at school and I was in percussion ensemble and doing a lot of stuff around there and this coming year I'll be um, co-president of deaf awareness which is like a group that spreads awareness about deafness obviously and then we um, host a lot of events at Augustana. So. Mm -hmm. Now, I know um, knowing you uh, as a swimmer, I, I coached you for a little bit, um, you have had this major in mind, you know, for a lot of, before you, I mean, obviously you looked into Augustana in South Dakota, in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, uh, to, to go into this field, but what got you interested in this field? Well, uh, my mom used to be a deaf ed teacher, and then um, in kindergarten, we learned the alphabet um, as we were like learning how to write our letters and so I kind of just fell in love with the language and then I took a couple classes um, at, through community ed here and I just was fascinated by it so I looked around and Augustana was the only college in the Midwest that you could get an undergraduate um, deaf ed degree so mm -hmm. that's where I went. So what kind of um, obviously you have to take the the basics uh, getting into college but what kind of um, what kind of training do you go through uh, to become a, a sign language? So you would be qualified as an interpreter, correct? No. Okay. Not. Okay. Not an interpreter. Uh, but you're actually so you're teaching. Um, you would teach a subject uh, at a school or a specific subject, or you would be with a teacher in a uh, school for the deaf teaching, or how does that work? Um, so my degree is like I'd be the same as a regular teacher that in a regular classroom and so I can have my own classroom and I'm tech I'm gonna be certified as a educa elementary education teacher too so I'd be like the same as any of the teachers at a regular school um, but then I know sign language and so we work a lot on how to um, explain things and expand because a lot of deaf children don't have access to language and that's the biggest problem because like for us, we can just sit down and you can listen to the radio or you can hear your parents talking and deaf kids don't have that luxury. So you have to like actually teach them lots of things that most kids just pick up. And so we learn a lot about how to make things visual and use lots of graphics and pictures. And we expand with, they're called classifiers and it's like to show what happens, not just tell what happens. So it's kind of like telling a story almost. So we work a lot on that too. All right. Uh, so. When kids enter elementary school, I mean, do they go through what a typical child would go through preschool and that's, or do they come in and they, I mean, obviously they would have to know some form of communication, but not necessarily uh, once they enter elementary school. Yeah, there's um, like early intervention programs where um, outreach consultants will go into the home and work with the families on sign language and some parents are deaf, so they will teach their kids sign language, but we work, or we, like they've told us, we work a lot with making sure that they have a solid foundation of language to start with because you can't really start working on a second and third like written and spoken English until you know at least something to start with. So we work a lot on getting the basic understanding and there's lots of kids that come to elementary school that don't have any language. Like uh, two years ago in January, I did a practicum at the Metro Deaf School in St. Paul and there was two kids that came from Somalia in September that year and so in the just short month that I was there they picked up an incredible amount of language and it was just amazing to see so it's really exciting. Well that was one question I asked you earlier uh, was that uh, obviously there's sign language which is a language but mm -hmm. there's also the language within the sign language I mean so a Somalian if they were speaking Somalian with sign language it would be totally different sign. 
Yeah. Um, so last January, I went to China with um, the Augustana Band, and we actually met some people from China that were deaf. And so that was really exciting. We were in Tiananmen Square, and it was really crazy that we even saw them. We saw them like across the like the area, and so we like walked over and like, hey, we know sign language, and we started talking to them. And so um, I know that one of them, they liked the people that were tall. We had some really tall people in the band, and so their sign for tall was tugging on your ear, and our sign for tall is like tall, oh. or like you can say they grew, but they're tall. Yeah, so it's like you, there'd be no way to know that mm -hmm. unless you talk to them. So. Very interesting. I'm talking to Morgan Nodsley. Uh, she is a uh, Laker alum and she is in uh, college at Augustana in uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. She is an education of the deaf and hard of hearing major and she is also going on a trip coming up in 2016 that we're going to learn more about next on Hometown Happenings. Welcome back to Hometown Happenings here with Morgan Nodsley. She is a uh, education of the deaf and hard of hearing major at Augustana College in Sioux Falls, South Dakota and she's a former, well she's a Laker alum I should say, not a former <laughs> Laker alum, a Laker alum graduate of uh, 2012. But Morgan, tell us a little bit about uh, this trip that's coming up in 2016 that you're going on and you're actually raising money to go on the trip. Correct. Um, January 2016, we'll be going to Jamaica, um, my friend Megan and I, and she's also a deaf ed major, and she's secondary ed and English, so you have to triple major when you're secondary ed, so that's a lot of work for her. Um, but we are going to Jamaica to do a practicum, which is kind of like an internship, kind of like student teaching, at the Jamaica Christian School for the Deaf, which is right near Montego Bay. And it's part of our um, Civitas Honors project for like a senior honor project so we're um, gonna go there and we're bringing um, laptops and school supplies and books to them because it's a very low income school um, in the rural areas outside of Montego Bay and so yeah okay um, so you're looking to raise some money and do you have a, a site that people can go on and learn more about the project and uh, maybe make donations Yes, um, they can check out our blog, which is called Megan and Morgan in Jamaica, and you can just search that in your search bar, and it'll take you right to the page. It's on Blogspot, so it's kind of hard to figure out how to get there. Mm -hmm. um, but there's contact information on there, and so you can um, contact me or Megan. It doesn't matter. And we didn't set up any um, online funding, but they can just call us, and we can work something out. So. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, I know you've learned a lot in college because you're going to Jamaica in January. So. Yeah. No, but it is. It is. A, they're in. A, it's a dire need situation. Yeah. They, um, the administrator that came to the U.S. to do a, um, a fundraising tour um, told us that there's lots of teachers at the school that actually forego their pay so that the kids can eat, okay. like, meals during the week and on the weekends. So, yeah, it's really important that we go. Uh, Morgan Nodsley uh, with me today on Hometown Happenings, and I am going to let her sign us off. I'm Carol McCarthy.